All right, I'm gonna show you how to get cars from GameModels.ru and how to upload textures. Uh, I already made a video on how to import and I'll link that video in the description, but this is just how to download cars from GameModels.ru. So what you would go, need to do is go to Downloads, so you would click it, go to Mobile Games, once it loads, this website takes forever to load, and then you will look for Real Racing 3. Do not do the CSR cars or Forza cars. Yeah, there may be a car you want from there, but they're going to be super high try. Like, I'm telling, I'm like, three, four hundred thousand try. And most games are 50k try limit, so I don't think that would work. But what you would do is find a car you want. So let's just say I want to do... Can't do F1s for copyright reasons. Let's say I want to do this Honda, okay? You would download this file and then download. While you wait, go to the Microsoft Store and look up free zip. This is helps help you extract um archived files. Windows does I mean Mac OS does have this, so I recommend you get it on there too. But you would get the first this one. And install it. I already have it installed. So once this link opens, this link opens. You're gonna download it. Downloading. So once it's downloaded, it's gonna come. This most of the times it already comes with a free zip file. So you click, double click it. This is gonna pop up. You're gonna click extract, extract. And then close this. Now you have the car. And now you, you can go watch the video on how to mass import. I'll link it in the description below. But now I'm going to show you how to do textures. So let's say you're, you're doing this Honda Civic, okay? These textures are PNG, okay? So what you would do, what's the best option is to go to Roblox Studio. The studio that you're going to import the, gar the car in. I'll click here, right click, game, it, the place has to be published already, so then you would do import and look for the look for the file. So this right here, textures, and you will select all of them. Select them all, open, and it will import. I already have that, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing the car, but that's how you would import textures into Roblox Studio. Once your textures are in, let me show you for example. Once your textures are in, the, your car will look like this once the car is imported. Once your textures are uploaded, you click here, and they will show automatically right here. You click the one, so this is the interior, so you look for something that looks like the interior, and this looks like the interior, and it will, should automatically line up. Let's say you're going to do badging. Let's say the badging part looks like a little square like this. Let me delete the texture. You see how that looks ugly? You would what you usually would do is you would click it, find the textures, and then make transparency point one, and it makes that black extra square go away. And same thing for like mesh parts. You can barely see it. You would click it, so it would be gone, and it would, and it would be like this. So you would click it. Find the mesh and make transparency 0.1. There, and it will now be transparent, and you can see something if there's something behind the car. And that's how you would upload textures into Studio. So then, once you have that, you would put your car on a chassis, put anything you want, the scripts you want, and stuff like that, and you got a car. Um, to learn to import, watch the video I have linked in the description. And yeah, thank you for watching.